What's up, everybody? It's Mark from Long Creeps Limited. We're getting into, I'm sure a lot of you around here have noticed as well, spider season. Orb weavers, if you will. I've got an incredible amount of orb weavers all over my yard. In between bushes, I've walked through a bunch of them. I actually had one land on me. I had to flick them off. Uh, but so, you know, there's obviously two camps of thought on that. There's the people that love bugs and creatures and cool things like that and, and enjoy kind of looking at them and watching them and watching them spin webs and all of that stuff. And then there's the people that are like, oh, hell no, and go to squash them or whatever. If I think they're cool, they look cool. I'm not quite a tree hugger, Birkenstock wearing hippie, but I kind of lean toward that train of thought as far as bug friendly and, and nature, you know, nature friendly. Um, if it came down to safety for my family and my toddlers, obviously do what I had to do uh, to eradicate any kind of spiders and all of that. So that being said, I mean, you know, the choice is yours. You do what you want. Just be safe. Be aware of them, you know, but maybe just take a minute and check them out. Appreciate them. Take some cool pictures of them. Put them up on the Instagram. It's pretty cool. But what I have here that I'm about to show you, I had one right outside my porch window. So I was able to get very detailed footage and this orb weaver pretty much wrapped up a uh, carpenter bee. I've got carpenter bees going into my siding and I'm actually trying to, you know, going back to the hippie Birkenstock wearing tree hugger thing. I would have left them alone, but there are now zillions of them, so I'm gonna have to use a pesticide and get rid of these things. I mean, I don't want it to be like an Amityville horror thing and have them start coming into my house or something like that. So I'm trying to take care of these carpenter bees, but coincidentally, um, a spider, an orb weaver, kind of stationed himself near these bees and he's got like, you know, a kuma matata. He's got just free meals coming at him. Um, so I captured footage of this of this spider wrapping up this bee and uh, pretty cool stuff. So enjoy it. I'm going to leave you with that. Just a simple little spider video. But a quick side note to that is I kept trying to go out on my morning coffee run and I kept seeing cool stuff that this spider was doing. And then I finally, I got, I, I'm just like, hey, I got to go. I'm not going to film anymore. But then I came out and he was actually eating the bee. And I just couldn't bring myself to go grab the camera one more time because of time constraints. But also, it wasn't for the faint of heart, man. So missing from this is the spider actually eating the bee, which was pretty amazing and gruesome. And yeah, I don't even know if I could have filmed that thing. Um, so anyway, I'll leave you with the spider footage. Enjoy.